Okay, 1985 AB3. We have the region enclosed by the graphs of y equals e to the negative x, y equals e to the x, and x equals ln of 4. So if e to the x looks something like that, if e to the negative x looks something like that, and x equals ln 4, let's say there's that vertical line there, then we have that kind of triangular area there that I've highlighted in yellow. All right, so we're looking for the area there, and so we, uh, it's pretty clear then what the uh, points of intersection are. We're going to go from zero, where the two functions, e to the x and e to the negative x, intersect, over to ln of four. All right, so that's not a big deal. Top minus bottom is just going to be e to the x minus e to the negative x, and so we're ready to roll. Okay, so we have area is the integral from 0 to ln 4 of e to the x minus e to the negative x dx. Again, there's no big surprises there or uh, any simplification that needs to be done. The uh, antiderivative of e to the negative x is negative e to the negative x. The antiderivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So instead of getting e to the x minus e to the negative x, the antiderivative of that whole expression is now going to be e to the x plus e to the negative x. And that's from 0 to ln 4. So now in this case, the 0 expression is not going to go away because e to the 0 is 1, and e to the negative 0 is, e to the negative zero is also 1. So we have to be careful not to assume that that will disappear. So we're going to get e to the ln 4 plus e to the negative ln 4. And since e to the 0 is 1 and e to the negative 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. We have e to the ln 4 plus e to the negative ln 4 minus 2. Now e to the ln 4 is just 4. And if we were to take the negative sign on negative ln 4 and make that a ln 4 to the negative 1, we would have e to the ln of 1 fourth, which is just 1 fourth, and that's a positive 1 fourth. That negative sign doesn't affect the sign of the number. It, it makes it a reciprocal, and then minus 2, and that all comes out to be 9 fourths. Okay, I'm going to scroll up to do part B. Now in part B, we're looking to revolve that area, that region, around the x-axis. And so once again, that's going to give us a washer's problem, which is pi capital R squared minus pi little r squared. And in this case, all we have to do is set up the integral. So volume, bring out the pi times integral, 0 to ln of 4. We need capital R squared, and capital R is e to the x minus little r squared which is e to the negative x quantity squared dx. And you could spend a little time to simplify there, but there's no need to. When you're just asked to set it up, just set it up. And that's done. All right, in part c, this time we're going to revolve that region around the y-axis. And so around the y-axis, we're going to use uh, cylindrical shells. And that's not a great cylindrical shell, but it looks something like that. And cylindrical shells are 2 pi r h. So we have 2 pi integral from 0 to 4. r is just x. And h is just the difference between the top and the bottom. And dx is the thickness. And we're all done. Again, you could do a little simplifying, but in this case, it's not necessary again. So this is the second uh, type. We revolve around the x-axis. We're going to use disks and washers. Revolve around the y-axis. We're going to try to use uh, cylindrical shells because it gives us a dx. If we use washers, again, it would be possible, but it would give us a dy, and we'd have to convert everything to y's.